Um, I'm Scott Garber. I'm the fire chief for the City of Stanton Fire and Rescue Department located in Virginia. Uh, today we're here with our, doing a final inspection uh, on our 2020 Aero XT tractor drawn aerial. So we'll walk around and we'll take a look at some of the features. So we chose the Aero XT chassis uh, mainly because it's an extreme duty chassis. Um, wanted the heavy duty, uh, heavy duty um, look to it as well as the ride. Uh, and feature for our personnel. Inside the cab, everything is uh, line xed for the extreme use. Um, all removable uh, seat cushioning, seat padding for uh, that can be laundried and cleaned up. We chose a 24,000 pound front axle uh, to add to our GVW and overall load equipment um, carrying capability that we'll talk about here a little bit later. The exterior of the cab uh, has two open areas for our two and a half gallon water extinguishers and two six foot hooks uh, for personnel to uh, be able to grab quickly when they exit the cab. The compartment on the tractor a uh, fairly, large, fairly large compartment uh, with a roll, um, mid rollout tray. Um, uh, just within this compartment, we have a, quite the uh, load carrying capacity. The one odd thing we have on this tractor drawn is a tandem axle, which is not seen very often. Uh, we did choose the tandem axle feature is, uh, for several reasons. Um, First, it gives us a little bit more load carrying capacity. Um, as this is not only a ladder truck, it also serves as our heavy rescue. So it carries quite a bit of heavier rescue equipment, um, as well as hydraulic tools and um, additional equipment such as that. So it gives us the extra load carrying capacity. Um, our area also sees a fair amount of winter weather. Uh, so it gives us the uh, ability for a locking differential, all wheel lock up and with the additional tandem, uh, it gives us another set of axles that are adding to the braking capacity of this um, vehicle. It also provides a smoother ride for the uh, tillerman in the rear cab uh, for going down the street. The aerial device is the uh, 107 foot ascendant ladder. Uh, we chose the uh, charcoal metallic color instead of the normal white. Uh, which added to the overall um, color scheme of the vehicle itself. The first compartment we have um, two uh, slide out drop down tray, two full width uh, slide out trays, which will be carrying um, probably some heavy duty uh, Paratech um, struts uh, for building or vehicle use. Uh, we chose a Hercules calf system. Um, to give us a little bit of uh, extinguishment suppression capability um, since this vehicle is replacing a true quint. Uh, we did not want to go back to the true quint concept, but we felt we needed some type of suppression capability. We have an outside ladder rack here that will carry a 24-foot extension ladder as well as a 14-foot uh, roof ladder. Um, our roof ladder complement on this vehicle, um, all the roof ladders are double hooked and double butt. Uh, so they can be raised however you're carrying it. And we do that mainly because we have some very small alleys in our jurisdiction, so we don't have to try and spin a ladder around within the um, alley. We can set it up either way we carry it. Additional compartment here just for additional storage of equipment. Um, we should be near uh, 500 cubic feet of compartment storage space on this apparatus. Small air bottle storage compartments, additional scene lighting, our tiller axle as well as the front axle are both the TAC-4 suspension. Um, we chose those for steering capability as well as ride comfort for our personnel. Additional compartment. Uh, entryway for the, uh, the tillerman to get to the, uh, the tiller box. Uh, air conditioning, heat, uh, but pretty much all the amenities you need for um, a safe, comfortable ride. In the rear of the vehicle, we have our ground ladder storage bank. 
We have mirrored banks on each side. Uh, we carry 235 uh, foot ladders, 228s, and 216s, or 216 foot roof ladders. Both the roof ladders, again, are the double hook, uh, double butts. You can see on this side our ladders are um, heel out, as well as this side they're heel in. And we did that with the concept that if you have to go to the front of the vehicle to the fire building, you pull this side without having to flip the ladder around. And if you're going to the rear of the vehicle to the fire building, you'll, you'll pull this side. It just makes it simpler for the person carrying the ladders to not have to switch the ladder around uh, in the street. Um, uh, this compartment here will mainly be set up for our tillerman's uh, for his protective clothing, his self-contained breathing apparatus, um, and personal effects will be carried in, within this compartment. This compartment here is a unique setup. You can see it has an open hatch door above. This compartment will carry our roof saws. Um, the concept is, is the tiller man can come right outside the tiller box, pull the upper hatch door open, and reach down and pull the roof saws out and, and put right on the tip of the ladder. Therefore, they don't have to carry it up a 107-foot ladder. Smaller storage boxes up here for step ladders. Um, and a, and a Stokes stretcher. A compartment with a vast amount of shelving. This will more likely carry a lot of our technical rescue gear, rope rescue gear, things such as that. These compartments mirror the same you saw on the driver's side, uh, cribbing, complement, and, and more shelving and um, slide out trays. Same for this compartment, mirrors what you saw on the driver's side. Um, the back side of the Hercules system, uh, slide out, slide out drop down trays um, for our equipment that we'll be carrying. Additional cord reel, uh, just as you saw on the other side here. Uh, this 107 foot ladder does have a pre-piped waterway uh, we have two five-inch uh, Stortz inlets on both sides. Uh, we have the capability of flowing 1,500 gallons per minute through the aerial device itself. Driver side com uh, tractor's compartment, uh, just as you saw on the other side. Same setup uh, on the rear of the cab, uh, two six-foot hooks and a water extinguisher. Uh, in the rear ladder bank, I failed to mention that we do carry uh, four eight-foot roof hooks as well as four 10-foot roof hooks in the rear of the vehicle itself. Um, crew cab complement, same as the other side. Um, one SCBA seat on each side with a fold-down um, seat as well. Emergency warning light package for this vehicle is all Whalen emergency lights, uh, all LED, um, federal Q2B siren, siren recess within the front bumper, and of course we have the blacked out uh, red line American flag as our grill to honor the, the fallen within our service. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.